Well, you may have thought the fight to save the Monroe County Hospital was over, but 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz joins us to explain there's one catch. It's a story you will only see on 41. Monroe County Commissioners still have to vote on it. On Tuesday, residents voted in favor of an increase on their annual homeowner sales tax, or tax to save the hospital, but that vote was just to give commissioners an idea of what the public wants. That doesn't mean that it's actually going to happen. This is the best uh, po uh, political outing where people join hands in an off election, other than a presidential election, that I can remember. On March 21st election, 70% of Monroe County residents voted yes on a referendum that would keep the Monroe County Hospital from closing. I think we may have uh, miscalculated the kind of public support we had. Uh, I think we have far more support than we anticipated, which is great news. But all the support from the county won't keep the doors of the hospital open. The commission still has the final say. On Friday morning, the hospital authority presented a plan to commissioners mapping out the future of the hospital. Basically finalize their questions and concerns that they have so that hopefully we we'll get an affirmative vote for them. Uh, if they vote affirmatively for the uh, tax increase uh, along with the full million dollar subsidy, uh, then we move forward. The hospital authority asked for a one millage rate tax increase from the county, which would settle the hospital's six million dollar debt and pay for renovations. But commissioners want time to think about it. We're trying to protect the voters, uh, you know, the taxpayers, because obviously this is going on to the to the to the property owners back, and that's uh, you know that's that's always uh, troublesome. After several hours, the commission came to a decision. We will bring up and vote on specifically uh, at, our, at our official meeting um, the first Tuesday um, in April. In the meantime, the hospital authority is, is wasting no time in making plans to move forward. There's a 28% decrease in the hospital's payroll budget, causing them to let go of some of their staff. Navicent Health is working with the Monroe County Hospital to help displaced employees. All right, thank you so much.